Oh, man, I've been dying to see Maniac Pope, too. The first one was awesome. Is this one of those theaters where they bring your beef stew right to your seat? What? That's not a thing. Sure is. Don't get mad at me because you don't know nothing fancy. May the sword be with you. <laughs> and also with you. <laughs> Jeez, this movie sucks. No, it's terrible. Excuse me, who had the stroganoff with the roasted potatoes? Right here. Thank you for seeing me, Your Excellency. Of course. What did you say your name was, my child? Lucy. You've been lucified! But he did the same thing twice in this movie, once to Lucy and once earlier when he found that wild goose. It's just bad writing. Yeah, I mean, we could write a better horror movie than that. Really? You think we could? Absolutely. I'm as creative as the first spider to spin a web. Hey, you know how we always dreamed about having a house that comes out of our butts? Uh, what? Huh? Yeah, butt house. All right, I got a horror movie idea. It's called Serial Killer. A serial killer who only kills people who eat cereal. Wait, what if, what if God is a serial killer? He lowers the average lifespan of humans to 65, but there are many exceptions based on genetics and diet. I got it. The old Quahog Asylum. What? Well, we can't go there. That place has been abandoned for years, and they say it's haunted by a ghost with a hook hand. That's why it's the perfect place. If we want to write a scary movie, we need to do it somewhere scary. Well, I guess we could try it. We have sort of just been spinning our wheels here. No offense, Joe. I guess Cleveland's right. So far, this has been a bigger waste of time than an acceptance speech at the Asperger's Awards. This place is terrible. Are you kidding? It's the perfect place to write a horror movie. All right, well, I got an idea. You know, I like them horror movies where you got a couple of teenagers getting busy in their car at Makeout Point, but there's a killer on the loose. Mm. Richie, did you hear that? Well, you calm down. We're the only ones out here. Ah! 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 Wait, you were the guy and the cat? And what's with that visor stuff? Did Richie achieve release? Okay, of the three of you, Cleveland's the only one who gets it. That's an awful idea. Well, I got one. We should write one of them zombie movies where a guy wakes up in a comfortable cotton hospital gown with the back open so there's a nice breeze on you behind, and he's like, this ain't bad. But then he notices the hospital's empty. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Time to wash my body with this harmless bar of soap. Ambassador Mombasa? Oh my god, Ambassador Mombasa! I wonder if everything's okay up at the old embassy. Oh, damn it! It's locked! Oh my god! Somebody must have locked us in! We're gonna die in here! <coughs> Sorry, guys. Somebody emailed me a video of a sheep screaming. <coughs> All the windows have bars on them. I think the only way out of here is through this duct system. Guys? Do the words dead by dawn scrawled in feces over there mean we're in trouble? Did you do it? I did. Then no. I heard something. Is, is someone else here? Oh my god, it's Hook Hand! He's coming for us! Damn it, why can't I get any reception? Because we're in a basement in the middle of nowhere. Besides, if cell phones worked, every movie would be two minutes long. Like an affair to remember. 
those footsteps are getting closer. Those aren't footsteps. It's an old building. Just relax. Besides, I can see an exit door right there. Where? Right there. Behind that guy with the hook. <laughs> Wait a minute. There's four of us and one of him. Yeah, let's get him! Oh. He's dead. What have we done? We killed an innocent man. Well, if this doesn't justify a McFlurry, nothing does. Oh my god, we killed an innocent man. No, we, we gotta report this. We gotta turn ourselves in. No way. If we do that, we'll all go to jail. And I'm a cop. Do you know what they do to cops in jail? Okay, so we're all on the same page, right? We bury the body, we never speak of this again. Deal. Got it. Yeah. Wow, that was exhausting. Wait a minute, is, is that... is that his car? Oh, crap, it's still alive! Peter, I'm glad you're up. I need to talk to you about something. I know what you did last night. You do? How could you do something so heinous? Last night, you left your dirty dishes in the sink. It's disgusting. So I did half, and I left the other half for you. Oh, my God, Peter, come look at the newspaper! Janitor dead. <gasps> what? No! Right here, my college roommate, Jan Itta. She passed away yesterday. Are, are we really doing this? Because I didn't get, like, any sleep last night. What are you freaking out about? You didn't even know her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you're right. You're right. They found a body of a war hero down by the old asylum. Okay, that has to be something. Uh, sorry, Peter. I'm just singing along with this old John Mellencamp song. They went up there I don't remember this one. Guess it's never been on a car commercial. In a truck that's built Dodge Tough. Oh, yeah, no, I know this one. Guys, I'm kind of freaking out about killing that guy. Anybody else have a hard time sleeping? No, but there's an old John Mellencamp song you're not gonna f believe. Wait, wait, what's all this stuff about you guys killing someone? Last night at the asylum, we killed that war hero. What, what, what? You, you really killed someone? <laughs> Holy moly, I don't think I want to hear this. Quagmire, you were there with us. You're so weird. Last night I was in St. Louis. I even have a picture. See that? That's yesterday's date on that newspaper. Damn it, that bastard is bailing on us. He's a worse accomplice than Johnny Windchimes. Hey, shh. Sorry, it's my chimes. Cleveland? What are you doing here? What are you both doing here? Joe? What the hell? You backstabbers. What the hell's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Cleveland's trying to frame me. He's got my miniature portraits of cool... Look at all you pathetic people bringing stuff to frame each other. You're supposed to be friends. Hey, that's my shovel. Damn right. That's how smart I am. I only had to bring one thing. This way I can dig the hole and just throw this in. But once you throw it in there, how are you going to get the dirt back on top? Give me your shovel. You're gonna have to kill me first. Not with my shovel. That's brand new. Give me back my rattly plastic phone. Wait, 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 guys. Guys. What? Don't you see? This... This is a horror movie. It doesn't feel like a Wednesday. Sucked. Yeah, I guess writing a movie isn't as easy as Joseph Gordon-Levitt makes it look. Hey, at least we gave it a shot. I just feel bad we killed an innocent man. Well, don't feel too bad. Look at that! Oh, my God. Wow, that's a relief. I found your cigarettes. That's all I'm gonna say. Morning, everybody.
And the crisis continues. Oh, what, these? Come on. Last thing I want is attention. It's just that when you've read as many books as I have, it, it, it takes a toll, you know? You sure it's not from watching too much close-up porn on your phone? <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they have that now. You're so full of it. You don't need those things. Wait, who said that? Oh, Stewie. You are just horrible. You're even worse than those people who take dumps in the shower. What? Why are you cutting to me? What did somebody say? Whatever they said I do, I don't do. Still sticking with the glasses, huh? What? Oh, right, right, I have glasses. <laughs> They're such a part of me now, I, I forgot all about them. You're gross. You know, it's funny, I I've gotten an awful lot of writing done at that very table. You're a writer? Uh, I, I like to consider myself an observer. <laughs> Boy, it's loud in here, huh? <laughs> when they said Professor Griffin, I, I barely heard them. That's it. I'm putting an end to this. I'm gonna destroy those glasses if it's the last thing I do. You should really check out the Thanksgiving jazz CD they sell here. Wow, Stewie, thanks for taking me to the spa. Hey, you deserve it, buddy. So just relax, take your glasses off, take a nice dry sauna. No glasses in the sauna, just leave those puppies in the locker. They'll be safe out here. Sounds good. Come on, Chris, don't let me down. Don't worry, Stewie. Chris, what are you doing in here? I did it. I locked us in the sauna. You what? Yep, it's all set. It's turned up high, and nobody is coming for the whole weekend. <laughs> Boy, you guys sure look steamed. This Family Guy joke was written by Jimmy Sullivan, age 9, of Decatur, Georgia. Thanks, Jimmy, and we'll pass along your gross request to Mila Kunis. Hey, bra? Yeah? Ah! Damn it! Ah! There's glass in my eye! Oh! Son of a bitch! Ah! Mom says dinner's at six. She wanted me to tell people. I don't know why. Uh -huh.